Well, we survived. Check this out, Sil. I'm gonna have me some breakfast here. Schlitz malt liquor bowl. You probably don't even know what that is, do you, bud? See, real men drink that hot coffee in the morning because they like that warm going down their throat. I'm not part of that genre. I like the ice cold going down my throat early in the morning. It's about 6.30, which is really 7.30 in Eastern time. Probably about 70 degrees. Uh, I'm fixing a chain down. Put some coal in the furnace. And put her in the wind. Slept really good, no noise. No reefers, super nice. I guess they do work on the weekend here. They told me they didn't, but it's all right. It's all good. All right, guys, I'm gonna chain down and um, then we'll do a little driving video. I'll be back. All right, guys, <clears throat> we are rolling out of here. As you can see, the sun's getting on up. It's getting, getting a bit warm. It's 71 degrees. <sighs> so we come in this direction this is about four and a half, five miles down a dirt road. If we would have come this way, which we did with, one, with the smaller load, it's not that far. However, with the Jeep, we would have never made this turn up here. Or at least I don't think we would. It was kind of questionable whether it was doable or not. And nobody wants to be hung up on a dirt road <clears throat> trying to back all that out of there. So we went the long route. But it's nice here, um, Pine Tree City. I guess this is just all farmland that the power company is buying up from people. I guess not really farmland, but woods. Um, they started delivering the solar panels yesterday to this job. I was going to look on the box and see where they were made. If I remember correct, the brand was BTS or DTS. Not 100% sure on that. Hopefully they're made in the USA. Most likely not. Most of you, um, well, I shouldn't say most, but a good portion of the windmills that gets put up in the country come from overseas. Um, I don't really know where they come from. I know G GE builds some, some of the generators in uh, Pensacola, Florida. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that comes by ship that gets unloaded in the port. And I don't know if those are made in China or where but it would be nice if <clears throat> if America was built by Americans using American built products I just don't think that's going to ever be the case I think those those decades are behind us so this is what 
hillbilly big rigging down a dirt road looks like. Really glad I spent the night here. Really glad it, it made a big difference. I got about maybe a three hour ride to get home. And um, <clears throat> I gotta go do one meeting this afternoon. And then I'm probably going to sliders and have some Godzilla's oysters. I'll shoot you guys a picture of those. They're raw oysters with seaweed salad, horseradish, no, wasabi sauce, and hot sauce on them. And we go there a lot, and they call them Godzilla. And I put them on a saltine cracker, and, and they're awesome. Just absolutely, hands down. I used to get the Oyster Rockefeller, and I eat most of my oysters just raw. Um, but uh, the bartender there, name's Julie, and um, me and my wife go there, and she said, you should try the Godzilla. So we tried them, and ever since that, that, there's nothing that touches them. They're just that good. Sliders, Oyster Bar and Grill, uh, and Neptune Beach is where I will be tonight. So <clears throat> hopefully it won't be too packed. We like to go during the winter time because all the beach people, you know, they can't take the cold, so the place is usually pretty empty, but now that the old nuclear reactor is steaming the joint up, um, the place packs out pretty quick, which we're early birds anyway. We usually like to get there about 5.30 for dinner. Um, and it's really kind of cool. I should probably video in there one time, but we like to sit at the bar because we like to talk to Julie. And um, I kind of think her and my wife might have a thing for each other. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Um, but here lately when we get there, there's these, I guess you call them cougars. You know, the older ladies with some uh, money, they'll be there by themselves, you know, having a cocktail at the bar. And it looks like to me, because you can just watch them, how they look around the room, you know, like they're uh, trolling for a young, young beach stud. And um, they always try to take me from my wife and hit on me, but, you know, they've heard the, the legend of Big Iron so you know they're always salivating but they usually take the bar and they piss me off because then we have to sit at a table and i would just rather sit at the bar for more than one reason but um but i guess they call them cougars look, look at a bunny rabbit y'all see the bunny rabbit that's the second one this morning yeah look at this joint look at here uh -huh. That joint right there needs uh, an excavator bucket and about 12 dumpsters. Yep. Bad news. Bad news. All right, I'm going to see if we can make this turn and hold the phone. I don't guess it's illegal to be holding the phone and driving on this dirt road in the woods, is it? Probably. Uh, yep. Yeah. Looks like we made it. So we go on down this road here, and it's going to connect up to some old worn out pavement. Um, I'm on my second Schlitz malt liquor bull sill. So these right here. Ever since I quit drinking Diet Coke, I haven't had any stomach pain, so 
drink a lot of water, but every once in a while you need something with some flavor. So uh, that's what we're drinking today. So yeah, Sliders Bar and Grill. It's owned by uh, Safe Harbor Seafood. Hands down the best seafood in Jacksonville. Sorry, Nathan, I, I know yours is good. And we go there as well, but we just prefer the oysters at Sliders. So uh, I don't know what they've planted here. Probably, well, it's a little late to be planting corn, I guess. really hasn't been any rain here in Florida lately um, years ago I used to dream in my head that the coolest job in the world was to be a row cropper because you know I always like to hunt the cornfields and things like that and I just used to think man I can carry my rifle with me in the combine it'd just be heaven be hunting and working and living life take your girlfriend out there with you on the compound slip off behind the bushes I used to think man that was the life but then I started watching this YouTube channel called the Minnesota Millennial Farmer and he has a podcast which I haven't listened to in a while, but I have listened to some of it. And through that podcast, I learned about how hard row cropping is based on the soil conditions and how they have to use this uh, genetically modified seed here in this area and that one and that one to be able to get proper yield and those guys are really scientists farmers are scientists if you think about it but after hearing about all of that I've just come to believe that there's no job that's easy and row cropping is certainly not easy uh, I guess although there was a TV sitting over there we, we could have had a TV but row cropping has to be especially hard I guess you could go broke, you know, just in one season if you wasn't, if you didn't do it right. But I like the woods and I like the water. I don't like the city other than to go there and eat some good food every once in a while. If, if it's, if they have good food, not all cities have good food. But some good New York pizza sounds good to me. And uh, and the hot dog carts. I do I do miss going to the hot dog carts in uh, New York City. Getting a good hot dog with some sauerkraut. Oh man, that sounds good right now. And some pickles. So here's the ratted out highway that we're fixing to go down. Um, you're not supposed to go this way. They got it shut down to trucks. <clears throat> but we're not loaded. So we're going out this way. But I bet there's a lot of deer out here. You could put you up a little corn feeder and probably uh, shoot you some nice bucks every year this is um i want to think I, I think it's called black creek not the black creek that i grew up on in clay county but out here in the panhandle of florida i think it's called black creek forest or black something like that you're getting really close to the you know alabama and the deer hunting becomes very good uh, in this part of florida and they're much bigger than they are in, in my part. But I haven't hunted in Florida in I bet 25 years. Um, I used to hunt in a place with the, uh, a lot of the Jacksonville Jaguars would hunt there. 
and Florida hunting to me just is not that great. But I like Florida. I enjoy living in Florida and <clears throat> all the liberals that's moving here, you need to turn your ass right around and go right on back to where you come from. Don't be trying to screw up what we have. Our governor is a kick-ass governor and he's doing a mighty fine job and we're gonna keep it that way. So this field here, you can see there's a, which you might not be able to see it, but there's an old ragged out deer stand over there. Might not be too ragged out, but probably not load tested for a man of my stature. Probably uh, a little rickety. But that looks like that's been clear cut recently. And it could be that that's what the power company is buying is just wooded land that's been clear cut. And they're typically about 640 acres, which one square mile is 640 acres. And that's about the size the typical solar farm that they're trying to install and I've asked the question to them several times you know how does this make power at night and they say oh well it stores power and then we release it so I guess that's some really big capacitors that store in all that energy um, probably never going to know the real truth uh, I think I think the liberals have won that what they call green energy solar wind you know the things that only work part-time kind of like you know well never mind I think those are are what we're gonna have to get used to my wife asked me this morning when she called me when we're gonna run out of fossil fuels and I just don't think we'll ever run out I think the earth is making new fossil fuels every day. And uh, as you can see, that's been cleared. And you can see they've pushed up their <clears throat> trash into piles. You'd think they'd make it look a little nicer, but I guess nobody cares. Nice little field here. But, yep. Solar wind, and I guess you know, I watched a video the other night where Ford has introduced another Ford Lightning, which this one is electric. I've had two Ford Lightnings in my day, but those were built by the SVT special vehicle team, and those were performance trucks. And if they would build another one, I, I would buy one. Because they were both kick-ass. Um, but this new one is electric. So everybody's betting on electric vehicles. And, you know, I kind of think that's cool because it's quiet and all that. And it's powerful. But I just don't know that <clears throat> we'll ever completely replace diesel engines. I don't see how you could do this industry with an electric truck. I mean... How would I have recharged out here in the woods? I just don't think it would happen. So anyhow, we're fixing to be on the big road here. Up here at this stop sign, I'm going to have to turn this phone off. Don't want to get a ticket. Don't want to be in an accident. Oh, I spoke with Dratchev on the phone the other day. He's doing really well. And um, I'm sure you guys have been watching his videos. He's uh, been moving a lot of loads, so glad to hear that he's doing good. And um, looks like he's moving forward. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very happy for him. I've known that guy probably over 10 years now, I guess. And. Um, things are going well for him so that's that's good news all right guys I will uh, I'll be back 
we're gonna get up on the big road and gonna turn it turn it into a legal run so headed home hope you guys are doing well and uh, that's right Frank the movies father goose Cary Grant it's my favorite movie that guy is me buddy that's who I am that that's me hundred percent y'all have a good day As we need to score the fuel to get home. We're not gonna do a full fill up just, just because, but maybe get us 50 gallons. Probably should go ahead and fill up because it's probably just gonna keep rising. Three twenty nine gallon, courtesy of I have no idea. This is exit one ninety two. Gentleman got him a fifth wheel there. We're gonna slip in here and get us something to eat. Get on the highway.